Okay, today we're going to use um, PowerPoint to create a Venn diagram. You can actually use any kind of software. You can draw it on paper with pencil and then take a picture of it if you want, but it has to be clear enough that I can read it. Um, you can also use paint. You can use notebook software if you have access to a smart board. Um, I just kind of always go to PowerPoint. Uh, to me, it's a, an easy thing to draw on so um, this is actually a new version of PowerPoint if you do not have this version and yours doesn't look like this and you still have across the top um, the menu bar instead of this ribbon layout then what you would do is if you do not see any drawing tools in the bottom left hand corner down here of your page then you would want to go to view toolbars and make sure that the drawing toolbar has a check mark beside it. If it does, then your tools are going to be down there. Um, you would see much, I'm going to go here to the insert ribbon, you're going to see much of this same thing in the, that toolbar. So right here I'm just going to go to shapes and that's where I would find what I need. But first I need to get rid of what's on this screen. So I'm going to click on the text boxes and just click delete and get rid of those to give me a blank page and in this instance we're going to do the Cinderella activity we have the original story and then we have two additional stories so we would need three circles to compare and contrast so I would go right here to shapes I'm just going to choose a circle now once I get it on there I can make it as big or little as I want remember that I have to have three and they are going to overlap the purpose of a Venn diagram um, in case some of you may have been out of school a long time and don't know what that is <clears throat> I'm going to assume that you know nothing about it so I'm going to explain it from the beginning the um, reason for a Venn diagram is for you to compare and contrast two or more things in this instance we're going to be uh, create, we're going to be doing the Cinderella book so once I've done this, I have a default blue color in my um, circle, so I'm going to go up here and change that to white. And then I'm going to, so that I, I'm one of these people that everything has to be the same size, so I want another circle this exact same size, and it's going to be nearly impossible for me to draw another one that same size. So I'm going to right-click and copy that, and then right-click and paste and I'm going to put it about right here because again I want it to overlap um, and then I'm going to do that one more time to get my third one and they all three kind of need to be on the page let's see if I can manipulate these a little bit and get them in a better spot now that's not going to work because this one isn't overlapping this one Now, in order for us to see the circles that go around, these boxes need to be clear on the inside. So right here, I'm going to double click the thing, um, the circle, and then when I go up here to the shape fill, I had actually clicked white a minute ago to get rid of the blue, but what I should have clicked is no fill. So I'm going to click no fill, and I have to do that to each one of these. And when I tell it I want no fill, then it doesn't give me anything so I can see my circles um, and see how they're overlapping so I want all three of these at one point or another to overlap so although this is not a perfect one um, you can kinda see where I'm going with it I would have to play around with it a lot more and get the get the circles just the right size that I want them. So in this box, in this area down here, um, I would want to put exactly, like I would write the title, let, let me just do that. I'm going to go to insert a text box, and then I'm just going to draw a text box right here. And in this one I'm just going to put Cinderella. And then you're going to know that this bubble is the Cinderella bubble. Then I'm going to come up here and insert another text box. Um, I'm going to pick totally different books. I'm just going to choose some 
different fairy tales and then we'll do one real quick here and then I'm going to insert a, yet one more text box over here for our final book okay so in these um, any time that the books have something in common I would put that in that place like for instance Cinderella has a girl in it as the main character um, Little Red Riding Hood has a girl in it for the main character Three Little Pigs does not have a girl in it so one of the things that Cinderella and Little Red Riding Hood have in common is that there's a girl in it so I would go to insert text box and right in here somewhere because that's the that's the section that Cinderella and Little Red Riding Hood have in common um, I would put here um, girl as main character and I probably would make that writing much smaller uh, because I wouldn't be able to fit a whole lot of things in there so this is the area that this one that the three little pigs and let's see I'm not sure if this is lighting up for you I think it does when I do that um, e each one of these bubbles should have an area and a lot of times on a Venn diagram like this that um, they'll have different colors so you might want to make you might want to make this one oops the outline maybe red and then the outline of this one a different color just so that you can see which one is which that way you can tell them apart a little bit so that's up to you um, but but you can draw one of these or you can do it digitally it's up to you it may be easier for you to draw it um, then again it may be easier to do it this way you can also if you wanted to um, I'll show you this 